All right, we are at an undisclosed location and we have some TKE machines. These use TAC-50 controllers and vintage Otis machines. So let's take a look. Firstly, I want to look at the most interesting one to me, 219HD. See, there's the motor brushes, field windings, commutator, armature, all that good stuff. Brush DC gearless machine. There's the tachometer, which tracks the speed. You see a little bit of the original green paint left over. Oh, nope, 155 HT. I'm sorry, it's mistaken. The brake looks more like a 219 HT machine, though. Right there's the solenoid for the brake. There's the actual brake pads, and that's the inside of the brake drum. We got a lot of action here. So here we have some Otis 131, um, before I get ahead of myself, 131 HT, okay, I was right on these. See, there's the inside of the motor. I believe this is a rope lubricator. There's the sheet. Here it goes. That's a cooling fan. And these are the safety governors. So when the elevator goes too fast, these will trip the safeties. I believe if it goes 125%, it'll cut off the motor and engage the brakes. And if it goes 150, it'll activate on the guide wheel grippers, the main safeties ones that everyone knows about. Let's take a look in the motor for this one. There's quite a bit of heat coming out of this motor. Definitely need those cooling fans. Very busy right now. All right, I'll show you this. So, so this is a hydraulic rope gripper. So what it will do, you see there's the hydraulic support, and there's um, the pad for it. So in here there's a hydraulic reservoir, a pump obviously, pump the hydraulic oil. And in this, it will grip the ropes against those two pads to stop the ropes in place. And this is just an auxiliary safety system. So in the event of, a, of an overspeed situation, that's what will kick in and stop and help stop the elevator. There's a bunch of other things that actually um, help with that. It's multiple mechanisms, it's fail safes. This, I believe, is measuring how much weight is on the machine. That's The car frame itself weighs a good bit. There's a tachometer for the safety governor. This is from the elevator. 500 feet per minute. Trips at 560. Then the actual next trip is where it actually trips into the guide rails is at 625 feet per minute. Correct me if I was wrong about any of that. And I'll you know, try my best to learn from it. Here are your controllers. TKE TAC 50. And there is the little box that connects it up to the offices so they can see and monitor the status of these machines. So they know when one's broken and they also know when there's an issue that needs to be addressed. Like a failing component, for example. And it also helps with diagnostics. So they can remotely diagnose it and know and get them an idea of what's wrong with it.
I believe these service cars are on a destination dispatch system, but not the main ones. See, here's the PoE switch for that power over Ethernet. So it relies on Ethernet for the data and regular signal. So it can do data, sorry, <laughs> I'm just talking too fast. It relies on power over Ethernet, so what this does, it can send power and data over the same cable. In fact, my house, our Wi-Fi access points, use the same type of system, so we don't have to plug them into the wall. It's only one centralized switch like those that does all that. All right, and that about conclude detailed tour of these service elevator machines. The main machines will be in a secondary video. Hope you all enjoyed this.